luxury handbags are over. And it's not just about the price increases, it's worse. The luxury handbag market has changed a lot over the past decade. There are some positives, but there are far too many negatives in my opinion. So let's talk about it. Welcome to the Handbag Heaven Vanity Table Talks, where we talk about fashion news and other related topics. Today, we are talking about how the luxury handbag market has changed for the worse. According to PrecedenceResearch.com, the global luxury handbags market revenue was $31.87 billion USD and is expected to reach 57.8 by 2033. So what is the reason behind the steady growth? If you really think about it, luxury fashion is everywhere. We see it on TV, magazines, social media, and the fashion runway. I mean everywhere. So could it be the marketing? Luxury brands like Dior invest a lot into marketing. Dior spent over 30 million euros in 2023 in marketing, but only 26 million euros on cost of goods sold. While the revenue in 2023 for both fashion and leather goods was a whopping 33.92 billion US dollars. Today, I see more and more luxury bags being marketed by not only celebs, but also influencers who, although they look like regular consumers, they are actually in the business of fashion. Don't get me wrong, I do love the honest reviews from influencers, but I have to wonder if it is sending a message that luxury handbags are more accessible. Unlike 20 years ago, today it seems like high-end luxury brands like Chanel are a household name. Have you ever wondered why? Do you really think it's because people want to look rich? I mean, come on, people have been dressing for success for years. That's nothing new. What's that phrase, dress for the career you want, not the career you have? No, it's the other one just fake it till you make it that has actually worked for some people not everyone but i think it's much deeper than that i mean there are those who purchase luxury handbags as an investment i have personally sold bags for more than what i paid and then there were some that i sold at a loss there are certainly a lot of factors to consider when it comes to luxury as an investment. I would say that luxury handbags are more of a passion asset. This type of non-traditional asset is typically functional, but also has the potential to appreciate in value. When I look at the pre-love market, it is a testament to just how valuable luxury handbags can be. According to Statista, the secondhand luxury goods market in the U.S. was estimated to be worth around 2.6 billion USD in 2023. So why aren't luxury handbags good investments? Regardless if it's a good investment or not, there are people like myself who really enjoy luxury handbags. The design, the styles, the craftsmanship, the shopping experience, the packaging, and more. There is a community of luxury enthusiasts that have hours of videos and countless conversations in the comments on luxury handbags. In fact, I first fell in love with luxury handbags over 35 years ago. This would have been in early to mid 1990s. I remember seeing a Chanel classic flap in a magazine. I was just a teen, but the design of the classic flap caught my eye. 
it was the quilting because it's such a familiar design. I mean, my grandmother had a handmade quilted blanket at the bottom of the beds. Then you have the chain that is like jewelry and let's not forget the signature lock. But as I did my research on the bag, I realized that it was too expensive at around $2,000 back then. With my little babysitting gig and other odd jobs, it would take forever to save up for one. So I settled for just cutting, cutting pictures of the bag out of magazines and putting them in my scrapbook. That's what we did before Pinterest. We scrapped before we could pin, but it was years before I ever saw a Chanel classic flap in person, much less owned one, while today I see the bag everywhere. But to be honest, the price increases or the amount luxury brands actually spend to make the bags are not the reasons I have decided to take a break from luxury. It's way deeper than that. In fact, I have five reasons why. Overconsumption is the number one reason I'm taking a break and quite possibly can see myself not purchasing luxury handbags for the foreseeable future. At one point, I had over 70 luxury bags. I also owned over 100 contemporary brands that I sold and applied that money towards the luxury handbags. I didn't really think it was a problem before, but as I got older, my lifestyle changed. It became more obvious that I didn't need all the handbags that I had. My overconsumption hit me like a ton of bricks during the pandemic when I was at home and not using any of my bags or fabulous clothes. It was then that I realized that I didn't really need over 50% of what I had even when I looked at my business needs. So I decided to downsize. I also decided to adopt my buy criteria to prevent further overconsumption. Now I have a collection that meets all of my needs to include personal, business, and investment. I still have a very few bags and SLGs on my wish list, but I don't see myself adding any new bags to the collection for the foreseeable future. Number two is luxury handbags are not holding value like it did in the past and is becoming less of a viable investment. When it comes to luxury, I am starting to see the price go up and the value come down. In my opinion, there are several reasons for this. One is the growth of the resale market. It's amazing how some say that luxury handbags aren't an investment while the resale market is thriving off of luxury handbag sales. While the value does fluctuate, especially the more trendy designs, which can be very volatile, it's still a billion dollar industry. Since the resellers do not make the bags themselves, they require suppliers. Most of the suppliers are people like you and I, the consumers. Unfortunately, we as consumers are being pushed closer and closer to the bottom of the pyramid, squeezing us out of making a profit on the occasional sale of luxury handbags in most cases. And for those of us who remove the resellers out of the equation and sell directly to other consumers. The resellers promotional sales and reward programs make it hard to compete. Since we often have to add the cost of sales to the price of the bag in order to merely break even, oftentimes I see consumers lowering the price to compete and taking the loss. At the end of the day, all of this has an impact on the value of luxury handbags. I also believe that mass production has a part to play in reducing the value of handbags. When I think back a decade ago, 
I don't remember there being as many luxury stores. Now there are stores in many cities as well as goods being sold online. Today, I also see the resale market flooded with popular designer handbags. As more of these bags are available, the cost will be reduced to sell and the value will be impacted. Not to mention how the environment is impacted by mass production of leather goods similar to fast fashion. Although the pre-love market does help with sustainability, the overall increase in demand and production of new handbags still have a huge impact. Number three is lack of creativity when it comes to luxury handbag designs. I saw some of the best handbag designs, in my opinion, during the 90s and the Y2K era. But in 2015, I was bored with luxury designs. However, in 2018 to 2022, there was a resurgence. I'm not sure if it was the downtime during COVID, but I saw some new modern designs being released by brands like Louis Vuitton, Chanel, and Hermes, just to name a few. In my opinion, the Hobo Loop and the side trunk bags were two of LV's most innovative designs. Incorporating that modern slouchy look with the classic design of the trunk and Hobo was genius. In fact, it was that level of creativity that brought me back to the fold after my three year hiatus. Fast forward to 2024, now it's just overdone. It's like brands are dropping new collections, what seems like every month instead of each season. And what are we, the consumers, getting? A lot of the same old things, in my opinion. It's like we get no new design, but maybe a new color. Oh yeah, I can't forget, we might get a chain added to a small leather good that we, the consumers, added for under $50 and made it a thing on social media. But now we are supposed to pay $1,000 more just for the chain, okay? Number four is the quality has decreased. I have noticed a decrease in quality over time. I spend a lot of time doing market research on pre-love bags, so I have seen a lot of wear and tear. It is always surprising to see newer bags in such poor condition. One can say it really depends on how well the bag was maintained. However, I have had my own personal experience with handbags that I have taken great care of that have not stood the test of time. For example, my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM was about 13 years old before I sold it, but still looked amazing after continual use. However, I had my on-the-go tote, which was only four years old with barely 10% of use compared to the Neverfull and it was falling apart. I only use my on the go tote for travel, whereas I use my Neverfull bag for travel and everyday use in the beginning years. There was a clear difference in durability. Now we can say maybe the difference is due to the design. But when I compare the on the go tote to my 27 year old sack plat, which is more similar in design to the on the go tote, there isn't much of a comparison. The canvas on the sack plat still looks beautiful. Now the interior not so much, but honestly, it's not just LV. There are other luxury bags that I see on the market with defects, errors, and flaws. Some I think are attributed to machines used versus handmade. In fact, I have had issues with my Chanel bag. I have a mini flat bag that I purchased new and the stitching had too much tension which caused the leather to wrinkle in that area. Also, it had loose stitching with only one use. This is a simple issue that could have been caught and fixed with basic quality control measures. But I have seen even worse quality issues 
like crooked closures and more. More recently, I found that my metallic reissue card holder is turning black on the edges and I have barely used it. So this is why I'm done with LV's canvas and Chanel's metallics for good. If you see me doing an unboxing of another LV canvas or Chanel metallic piece, just know it's not really me. AI has taken over my channel. But seriously, in my experience and opinion, the quality is diminishing. Last but certainly not least, luxury is just not safe. I'm not talking about the possibility of purchasing a fake from the retail store or pre-love market. Although that can happen, I'm saying it can actually be physically unsafe to purchase and wear luxury. The world in general is not safe, but now it's like owning a well-known luxury bag can put a target on your back. Have you seen the videos and social media posts about people being robbed? There are some well-known luxury YouTubers who have been robbed. One of my favorite YouTubers experienced a home invasion. To make matters worse, a lot of the victims are being attacked for owning luxury. I have also witnessed my favorite YouTubers being bullied, stereotyped, discriminated against and just outright disrespected in the comments of their channels because they own luxury handbags how despicable but I'm pretty resilient and I don't allow what other people think and say to affect me that's their issue where I draw the line is physical harm about one year ago very close to my birthday, I got the call from my Hermes SA. And when you get the call, you gotta go, right? So normally my husband accompanies me when I go shopping. He's not a shopper, but he likes the royal treatment at, at the luxury stores. And let me tell you, they treat him better than they treat me. And they treat me good. I'm a little jealous. Well, on this day, he wasn't available to go, so I went alone. When I got there, my essay and I greeted each other as usual with all the smiles and hugs. But then he noticed I was alone. He asked where was my husband, so I told him my husband wasn't with me. Then my essay got real serious and was like, look, I'm going to put your bag in an unbranded bag and I want you to go straight to your car and leave. He also said, text me to let me know you made it home safe. I was like, look, you are scaring me. But he was like, I'm serious. It ain't safe. I was so anxious. I called my husband and put him on speaker until I got in the car and left. I did exactly what my essay said. I went home. I did have other shopping to do in the mall, but I decided to wait until my husband was available. Actually, I ordered most of my birthday gifts online and had them delivered. It's just not worth it if I have to look over my shoulder and be extra concerned about my safety. If you look at the crime surrounding luxury fashion, it's at an all-time high. You can find videos where a mob of masked and unmasked criminals are robbing luxury stores. Who do you think will pay the insurance increases due to all the luxury crime sprees? It's unfortunate that it, it has come to this, but as much as I love luxury handbag designs and styling them, now, I really have to be selective about when and where I choose to wear them. So, with all this going on, I have just decided to take a break from purchasing luxury. Now, I do have a few bags on my wish list which have been on there for years, like the Hermes Birkin, 
vintage Chanel heart bag, and the Louis Vuitton gigantic sack. All of those are tied to specific milestones and I may or may not purchase. I really have to do some thinking, but for any others, I'm done. I will still continue to do luxury commentary on new and upcoming releases. I also will continue to do reviews on the luxury handbags that I already own. I plan to do videos on how I style my luxury handbags. I will definitely do videos on luxury fashion news and related topics. I plan to get back to doing my Self Love Saturday videos where I cover luxury beauty. I've been testing a lot of products that I purchased with my own money. And I have some pros and cons to share with you on that. So if you are interested, I would love for you to subscribe to The Handbag Heaven. Let's talk in the comments. What do you think about the changes in luxury today? Give me your top two positive changes and top two negative changes. As always, thanks for watching and stay safe.